Today, we are going to be writing the formula for the ionic compound sodium bromide. So let's work from left to right. I see that I have sodium here. If I scan the periodic table, I will find that sodium is right here. It's represented by Na, okay? And it's in group one, so it always has a plus one charge. So I'm gonna write that down. Sodium has a plus one charge. Now bromite, here's the trick guys. If you have an I-T-E ending, you know that this is a polyatomic, okay? It's a polyatomic ion, so you have to memorize them. Polyatomics are never going to be on the periodic table. So I just wrote out what bromite is. So use flashcards, do whatever you gotta do to memorize these polyatomics. They're never gonna go away, unfortunately. <laughs> so bromite is BrO2 with a negative one. So BrO2 with a negative one. Now, since we have the charges, all we have to do is just crisscross them to figure out how many of each component I need. So this plus one crisscrosses down, telling me that I need one bromite. And this negative one crisscrosses down, telling me I need one sodium. But when you crisscross, just remember that the charges, they kind of vanish. We're just using them as like, you know, numbers. So here we go. We have sodium, Na. And we have one of them. You can put the one, but technically you don't need to. And then since we only have one of the bromite, I don't need to write down anything except for the polyatomic as well. And that's the end of the day. That's the end of the game, guys, right? Easy as that. So sodium bromite is just NaBrO2. And there you go. Thank you so much for tuning in or, you know, viewing this video. I really hope I'm giving you good content or, you know, good educational content for chemistry. We also have physics videos and math videos at the moment, so you could go back and check those out. Um, I really hope you guys are doing well, and let's keep studying hard, okay? See you in the next lesson. Bye.